Addressing child abuse here in Oklahoma, a local nonprofit is hosting two events tomorrow in recognition of Child Abuse Prevention Month. News Channel 8's Ryan Stalker joins us with why prevention efforts are desperately needed here in our state. Ryan. Brenna, the Oklahoma Department of Human Services says that last year, 14,000 children were confirmed victims of child abuse or neglect, while the Child Advocacy Network located here in Tulsa worked with more than 1,600 of those victims and their families last year. Here at the Child Advocacy Network, we see approximately 1,800 kids a year. In 2023, the Child Advocacy Network, a nonprofit organization that provides intervention services for child abuse victims, served 1,629 clients. According to the Oklahoma Department of Human Services, 14,000 children in Oklahoma were confirmed victims of child abuse or neglect in 2023. According to its report, 84,329 reports of child abuse or neglect were received that year. Abuse is defined as harm or threatened harm by a parent to a child's health, safety, or welfare. Neglect, on the other hand, is the failure by the parent to provide the child with adequate affection, basic needs, clothing, sanitation, hygiene, and appropriate education, health care, and supervision. Neglect also includes the failure by the parent to protect the child from exposure to illegal drugs, illegal activities, sexual acts, or materials that are not age appropriate. DHS says that neglect continues to be the highest single category of child maltreatment. Last year, out of the child maltreatment cases, neglect was over 86%, abuse at almost 10%, and sexual abuse just under 4%. If you have even a suspicion that um, a child may be abused or they may not be having the best care, um, please report it to the Oklahoma DHS hotline or to your local law enforcement. Kelsey Hess with the Child Advocacy Network says that when you inform agencies who are trained to deal with these types of reports and allegations, you're not getting anyone in trouble you're just looking out for that child's best interest. Reports made to the Oklahoma DHS hotline of child, child abuse and maltreatment are confidential and you can ask for that report to be made anonymous. She says the investigator who has specialized training would make the decision whether or not to separate that child from their parents. The decision that is in the best interest of that child. Tomorrow at 1 p.m., the Child Advocacy Network will host a ceremonial pinwheel planting to recognize April's status as Child Abuse Prevention Month. We'll have information about that as well as the number for the statewide abuse and neglect hotline on our website, ktul.com. Live in the studio, Ryan Stockett, New Channel 8.